I am purpose driven. It's not personal. It's purpose. When you see me, there is deeper than what meets the eyes. There is a soul, a spirit. A divine purpose. I am the join me Thursdays at ten a.m. Finding Happy on UME Radio, Thursdays at 10 a.m. Good morning, good morning. I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are in the world. I hope that today brings you a lot of peace, a lot of joy, a lot of love, charity, kindness, mercy, grace. And I came on here today just to share one thing, one message I got on my heart to share with you. I won't be here long. I just want to share this message and wish you a great and a fantastic day. And my message to you today is kudos to you. Kudos to you. And what I'm about to share with you is a reminder because I know you already know this deep inside of you, but sometimes, just sometimes, even though we know it, we forget it, or sometimes we push it to the side because sometimes there's so much energy coming at us from the world that our own voice gets hushed. So I just want to remind you of this today. You are doing your best right now, right here at this or in this moment, you are doing your personal best. Even when you make what the world considers poor or bad choices, even with the consequences of your actions, even with the hurt and helplessness that you feel, you are doing your personal best. While I may not understand or even grasp your efforts, while the world does not validate and value your efforts as you wish it would, that does not negate the fact that you are currently doing your personal best. And as you grow and you learn from your experiences, knowledge acquired and divine intervention, you will work on yourself. You will change where you are transformed and you will continue to make your best moves towards continuing or toward continuing to doing your personal best. Regardless of your current circumstance, state or position, you deserve grace, charity, kindness, favor, and mercy, especially from yourself. You are doing your personal best and for that i say kudos to you may god bless you a thousand fold more for every breath you take to stay alive and survive to quench all the pains from the lessons the world will seek to teach you blessings that's all I have to share with you for today. You are doing your personal best and don't you forget it. Thank you for listening. Please remember to like, share, subscribe. There may be someone you know that need to hear this message. Please share it with them, okay? I'm Coach Raquel and it's my pleasure 
to be here. Have a wonderful, as a matter of fact, let today be your best day yet. I see me through God's eyes. Affirmation. I am a masterpiece. I am whole. I am capable. I am smart. I am purpose driven. I am loving. I am wealthy. I am kind. I am honest. I am chosen by God for an appointed time and purpose. I am a child of the universe. I have the mind of God. I am worthy. I am valued. I am protected. I am me, not greater or lesser than any. I am called to serve. I am divine. I am someone who matters. I am a force, a positive force. I am God made and God designed. I see me through God's eyes. Affirmation. I am a masterpiece. I am whole. I am capable. I am smart. I am purpose driven. I am loving. I am wealthy. I am kind. I am honest. I am chosen by God for an appointed time and purpose. I am a child of the universe. I have the mind of God. I am worthy. I am valued. I am protected. I am me, not greater or lesser than any. I am called to serve. I am divine. I am someone who matters. I am a force, a positive force. I am God made and God designed. And just before I log off and go, I just want to leave a few tips with you, if you will. Here are four tips that can help you increase your energy and mood. At least I believe they will because they have improved mine. And number one, get closer to the creator. Get closer to the God of your understanding, your maker, the creator. Number two, prioritize your best interest. This doesn't mean you're selfish. But if you don't prioritize yourself, it's going to be difficult for you to prioritize somebody else. Really, truly do that. Yes, you may think you are, right? But you ought to love your neighbor as you love yourself. So self-love must first be mastered for you to be able to effectively love someone else. So prioritize your best interest. That's number two. And number three, live your truth no matter the consequences. You have, to, you have the right to be you. You have the right to walk in your own truth as you understand life. Yes? So live your truth, no matter the consequences. That, this does not mean that you don't apply wisdom and that you don't um, consider outcomes. But with wisdom, you'll be able to navigate your truths right, in various circumstances. Just make sure you're honoring self is what I'm saying. Honor you, yes? So live your truth no matter the consequences. And the final one, number four, spend time with people who make you feel valued. Mm. You need to be around people who when you're around them, you fall in love with yourself. You just feel good, you know, you, you feel better about yourself as you spend time with them. So those are the four tips that I believe, well, they have helped me increase my energy and my mood, and I think they can also help you increase your in energy and mood. One, get closer to the creator. Number two, prioritize your best interest. Number three, live your truth no matter the consequences. And number four, spend time with people who make you feel valued. Hi, uh, Tulian. Thank you so much for joining me. I just have a special message that I had to share. And now I'm going to be out of here. <laughs> God bless you. And I wish you all the best. My link is in the description, walkingindivinepurpose.com. If you want to um, hear more from me or not, if this is enough, and that's cool. So have a fantastic, phenomenal day and please remember you are doing your best
kudos to you. Goodbye.